Continuing our CES coverage, we're here looking at some electric and hydrogen fuel cell trucks. We're here at the Packard, Peterbilt and Kenworth stand. Behind me is a Class 8 electric truck. This truck has a 308 kilowatt hour battery pack and has a power output of up to 320 kilowatts. And when you think about that and the fact that electric motors, as we know, have an awful lot of torque, this is the kind of vehicle that is really going to change the way that people drive trucks. It has a 10-speed gearbox, 5.5, five 5.0, high, five and they will work with whoever is buying the truck to pick the best ratios. And the best thing for me is that it has just a four-hour recharge time, which is insane. This is a vehicle that you can keep using around the dock. It will be useful throughout the day, and it should hopefully reduce the cost for those kinds of operators. Obviously these trucks are going to be very expensive, at least initially, to buy, and that is a big investment for owner-operators. But these kinds of things should have much lower maintenance costs. Coming over here, we have their Class 6 truck. The 220 EV is the Class 6 vehicle, and that has around 140 kilowatt hours of battery storage on board. The batteries are located between the chassis rails, which is great. It provides lots of extra protection to them, but it also means they can be easily serviced if they need to, just by dropping them from the bottom of the vehicle. That means that whatever body has been mounted on the back doesn't have to be removed. The vehicle also charges off a standard DC CCS rapid charger with a charge time of about one hour. So that means that this vehicle can stay in use throughout the day without long periods of charging, but it can be charged from a regular J1772 charger overnight. Up at the front, the vehicle is pretty much the same as a standard regular diesel truck. That means that it should reduce the costs to people needing to service these as their mechanics will already be familiar with the equipment underneath the front end. At the back, the motors are located on the back axle, taking advantage of that space enabled by not having to have a transmission the whole length of the vehicle. So you've seen the Class 8 and the Class 6. They are also working on a trash truck. Those kinds of vehicles have a really long life cycle, up to around 20 years, so that's great to see them on the road. So we will be back soon with more coverage from CES 2019. Like, comment and subscribe.